In this tutorial, I'll show you how to add box art to Garlic OS on the RG35XX using a little program called Scraper. Let's give it a go. First, let's head on over to Scraper.net to download the Scraper app. And the links for all of the tools we're using today will be in the description below. This download link will drop us to the downloads at the bottom of the page where we see that Scraper is available for Windows, Linux, and Mac. I'll be downloading the Windows version. There's a warning that the program is still in beta and you may run into some bugs, but for the purpose that we'll be using the program today, I don't think we'll run into any problems. So I'll go ahead and proceed with the download. The Scraper download is packaged in a 7-zip compressed file. That being the case, we also want to grab and install 7-zip from the 7-zip.org website. Now with 7-zip installed, we can right-click the Scraper download, open the 7-zip menu, and I like to choose the option to extract the zip to a Scraper subfolder. That way everything stays clean and organized. Let's open the newly unzipped folder and run the Scraper UI executable. We're now greeted with the configuration wizard. Scraper uses a media database called Screen Scraper. If you don't have a Screen Scraper account, you can either create one or proceed without registering. If you have a small collection of games you want to grab box art for, you should be fine without registering. However, my recommendation would be to create an account anyway. It's free and it opens the way to further perks that I won't cover here, but are worth having. To begin the account creation process, simply click I don't have an account and want to register and then sign up. Your web browser should open to the Screen Scraper website which is available in several languages. So if need be, select your preferred language and region here. Then we can proceed to register by clicking here. After you've created your Screen Scraper account, go ahead and enter it into the Scraper app and then click Validate. You should get this message that reads One Scrape Engine Enabled and then you can click Next. This next part can take a while as the app downloads the necessary resources. It took about two hours to finish on my setup, but I have heard others report that they had to let it run overnight. So either way, now would be a good time to let it do its thing, and we'll come back when it's done. When the Scraper app has grabbed all of the needed resources, we can now choose our front end. Since Garlic OS doesn't really match up well with any of these options that are presented, personally I found that it's easiest to just cancel out of this wizard and we'll create our configuration manually. Now that we're in the main part of Scraper, we need to add the consoles we want to get artwork for. We can do so by clicking this plus symbol. So here's a list of all the available platforms and by default they're organized into categories. However, I prefer to see everything uncategorized and listed in alphabetical order, so I'm going to go ahead and uncheck this Show Categories box. Then I'll scroll down the list and click on each system that I know I have games for on my 35XX. When you select a system, it will be highlighted with a light gray box, so just keep scrolling through, selecting all the systems you know you have games for. Once we're finished selecting systems, we can click OK and we'll see them all listed here. If you find later that you missed a system, you can simply press the Add button again to bring up the consoles menu and select the one you need to add. The next step is to tell Scraper where our ROM files are located for each system. So first make sure that you have your ROM's SD card connected to your computer. Then we'll select a system. We'll click on this folder icon here. And then navigate to and select that system's ROMs folder on the SD card. We'll do this for each of the systems we added to Scraper. Just 
just a couple more options to set and then we can start scraping artwork. So make sure that all systems is selected. This ensures that the following changes we make will apply to every console. And also click this little E up here near the menu bar to enable expert mode settings. Navigate to this game list tab and set the game list type to none as Garlic OS does not use game list files. Head over to the miscellaneous tab and uncheck the use ROM region first box. When I left this box checked, I found a number of my games were incorrectly scraped with the Japanese box art, even though my collection is made up entirely of North American releases. Although there may be times when you prefer the Japanese box art. Look away, I'm... I'm hideous. Then rearrange the regions here according to what makes up the majority of your collection. As I mentioned, most of my games are U.S. releases, so I have the U.S. region first in my list. Now let's go to the Media tab and really get into the good stuff. Scraper has the ability to download all sorts of different media. Images, videos, and even game manuals, as you can see here. But we're only going to be scraping images, so let's select the manual media and then delete it by pressing this minus button here. When it comes to images, there's also a plethora of options that Scraper makes available, including what are called mixes, which are, as the name suggests, a mixture of images, usually some combo of screenshot, box art, and or cartridge, and logo, as seen in this example. There's also a number of single image types, including screenshots, title screens, and box art, among many other options, as you can see here. Now, unfortunately, with Garlic OS, we can't use any of these built-in options, and here's why. There are no parameters within Garlic OS to specify where the artwork should go, so it simply centers it in the middle of the screen, which, as you can see here, does not look very good. Now thankfully Scraper allows us to modify the artwork we download in such a way that we can move it to a particular area of the image canvas so that we end up with a result that looks like this. We can do this through a Scraper media type called User Provided Mix. If you want to do a deep dive into the world of creating your own custom image mixes, there is a comprehensive PDF guide that's in the Mixes subfolder of the main Scraper folder. But to keep things simple, I'm just going to share with you my own custom images. And I'm by no means an expert at this, so if you find them lacking, just do a Google search for 3-5-XX mixes, and you should find other good custom options out there. You can download my custom mixes from the link in the comments below. You'll end up with this zip folder called OTG Custom Mixes and you'll want to extract the contents of this folder to the Mixes subfolder of Scraper. Back in the Scraper Media tab, make sure User Provided Mix is selected for the media type, and then click this document icon to select the mix file. The mix files I've created come in three different options. Number one is just a box art image. Number two is a mix that includes the game logo and a screenshot. And number three is a mix of three images that includes the logo, screenshot, and a smaller version of the box art. I'm gonna select just the box art. It's my personal preference. I like the clean, simple look. And also keep in mind that the more elements you have in your mix, the longer it will take to scrape your artwork. So having just the one element, the box cover, it's not going to take as long to scrape as the other options. Just two more things to verify before we start actually scraping. Set the output folder to be ROM root folder slash IMGS. Make sure you get this right. Garlic OS looks for this specific folder name when loading artwork. If it's named incorrectly, it's not going to find your images. Finally, I like to check this cleanup output folder option. This will delete any current artwork already in the images folder before scraping. And in this way, we can avoid creating any duplicate entries just in case you already have graphics in the images folder. 
So now we can hit this play button and let the scraping begin. Depending on the size of your collection, this can take some time. The nice thing is though, the scraper keeps a local cache of any artwork you've downloaded. So if you are downloading the box cover and later on you decide you want to go with an image mix that also includes the logo in the screenshot, when you scrape that mix, it won't need to download the box covers since they will already be cached on your system. It would only need to download the logo and screenshot. That's nice because it can really speed up subsequent scrapes of artwork. Okay, well, while this is working, I'm going to go grab some lunch and I'll be back. Now that we're done scraping, we can close out of Scraper and we need to make one final change to our Garlic OS configuration. This is super important, so don't miss this step. On your Garlic OS card, go into the CFW folder, then the Skin folder, and open this settings.json file in a text editor. We need to change the text alignment to left and keep it in quotations, and also change the text margin to 300. This will move our game select text from the center of the screen to the right, making room for our box art on the left. We can now save the file and reconnect the SD card to our 35XX. And now we can enjoy the fruits of our labor. This tutorial was a bit more involved, I know, so I hope it made sense. And if you made it this far, I thank you very much for sticking in there and watching. That will wrap it up for now. And until next time, happy gaming, my friends.